Welcome to Runners to You. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most memorable and controversial moments in track and field history. The altercation between Joseph Atmashuka and Haile Gabir Selassie at the 1992 World Junior Track and Field Championships. This led to a near full-on fist fight at a track and field event between a couple of runners at the end of a 10,000-meter race. First, a little background on the two runners involved. Joseph Atmashuka was a Kenyan middle-distance runner who was a top contender at the 1992 World Junior Championships, held in South Korea. Haile Gabir Selassie, on the other hand, was a rising star from Ethiopia who was making a name for himself on the international stage. In 1992, these two most celebrated distance runners of all time clashed in an infamous and controversial incident at the World Junior Track and Field Championships. Joseph Atmashuka, a Kenyan athlete, and Haile Gabir Selassie, a world-renowned Ethiopian runner, went head-to-head -head in a hotly contested 10,000-meter race. The altercation occurred during the final of the 10,000-meter race, which was held on September 20, 1992. As the runners approached the final lap, Mashuka took the lead and looked poised to claim victory. However, Gabir Selassie had other ideas, and he began to close the gap between the two runners. What followed was a bitter altercation between the two athletes. Mashuka was disqualified after the incident and Gabir Selassie went on to win the race. Let's check it out first, then uncover what's happening. In a battle for the World Junior title. Now watch Mashuka in the red vest. They don't like each other, these two, and you'll see why. Bop! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how that propelled him across the line a second faster than it would have been if he hadn't punched him on the back of the head as the two runners entered the final stretch mashuka made a move to defend his lead but he appeared to lose his power and slow down gabir Selassie saw an opportunity and made a surge for the finish line but mashuka responded by reaching out with a clenched fist towards gabir Selassie's head as the two runners struggled mashuka's hand swung at gabir Selassie, hitting him in the back of the head the punch caused gabir Selassie to lose his balance and stumble but he managed to break free and cross the finish line first the altercation between the two runners caused a stir among spectators and officials and after reviewing the footage of the incident the judges disqualified mashuka for interference and awarded the gold medal to gabir Selassie. some sources claim the fist from mashuka never made contact with gabir Selassie's head giving reason to protest the disqualification yet from the footage we can clearly see when the strike occurs to gabir Selassie, as he springs forward with momentum and additional force directly from the punch thrown by mashuka the altercation escalated quickly after mashuka's alleged punch hit gabir Selassie. the two men had to be separated by bystanders following the completion of the race as they were only steps from reaching the finish line no injuries were reported from both runners the incident was widely criticized by the media and sports commentators alike with some calling it an unfortunate incident and others labeling it an atrocity in the sport these two runners were familiar opponents as they've competed with each other on multiple occasions some even saying mashuka and geber Selassie were near rivals at the time of this altercation let's take a closer look into how the two ranked against each other before getting into the real action where fists were thrown at the time of the 1992 world junior track and field championships joseph at mashuka's personal bests were as follows 1 minute 45.42 seconds in the 800 meter race achieved on july 6 1992 in nairobi kenya and 3 minutes 36.17 seconds in the 1500 meter race achieved on june 13 1992 in Aden, kenya whereas highly gabir Selassie's personal bests at the time were 12 minutes 56.96 seconds in the 5,000 meter race, achieved on July 26, 1992 in Berlin, Germany, and 27 minutes 13.81 seconds in the 10,000 meter race, achieved on June 6, 1992 in Hengelo, Netherlands. Mashuka did not compete in the 5,000 meter event, and neither did Gabir Selassie in the 1,500 meter competition, so it's not a direct comparison of each athlete's true ability against one another. It is worth noting that these personal bests were achieved before the 1992 World Junior Championships, and both athletes went on to achieve much faster times in their careers. Gabir Selassie, in particular, Gabir Selassie became one of the greatest distance runners in history, setting numerous world records and winning numerous Olympic and World Championship medals. Haile Gabir Selassie is now a retired Ethiopian long-distance runner who is widely regarded as one of the all-time greats in the sport. He is a two-time Olympic gold medalist and four-time world champion, and he holds numerous world records, as seen on screen now, ranging from the 5,000 meter, up to the 10K event, all the way up to the half marathon race. The altercation between Joseph Atmashuka and Haile Gabir Selassie remains one of the most memorable and controversial moments in track and field history, and it serves as a reminder of the intense competition and emotions that can be found in the world of athletics. Thanks for watching Runners to You. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content on the world of track and field.